Hello everyone, today I want to talk about a very good feature which has been recently introduced in Gmail which is Mail Merge. So if you want to learn how to use Mail Merge in Gmail, watch this video till the end. Well friends, I'm sure most of you would have used Mail Merge in Microsoft Outlook using the Microsoft Word and email. If you already know what Mail Merge is, then you can always skip to this timestamp. And if you have not used Mail Merge before and want to know what it is and how it can save you hours and hours of time, continue watching this video and watch it till the end. So what is Mail Merge? Mail Merge is basically when you want to send mails to different different people, but instead of you know putting everyone in CC or in BCC in the email, you want a single email to be sent to everyone. And at the same time, you want that each email should have some variable parameters like you want to say hello john hello lisa hello raymond you don't want to just write dear customer because you want the email to be more personal and maybe you just want to send them an email wishing them merry christmas and a happy new year but at the same time just reminding that there is some pendency on their account and you'll really appreciate if that pendency is paid so you can always send an email saying dear first name where first name will be picked directly from Google Sheets. We at Weave Studio would like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Also, we were just going through our accounts and we realized that there is some pendency and here I will mention the amount which will be pending amount is due on your account and we will really appreciate if you could pay us the same. Thanks a lot, blah, blah, blah. So now in this particular email, we have used three parameters. The first one is the recipient, which will be the email ID for the particular customer or the particular person, followed by the first name to make it more personal and followed by the pending dues because those dues are for that person and not for everyone else. So we will be using a new feature, which is mail merge using Gmail and Google Sheets. Well, this was updated in September 2019, which is almost a year now but not many people still know how to use it and believe me i myself went on youtube to learn this for the first time but i could not find a lot of videos which explained it really nicely so i thought let me go ahead and make a video and make you learn step by step and also show you the problems which you might face when you start using it along with the solutions for the same because that is the key so to start with let's all thanks martin hosky who took out the time compiled the script gave it to google and google posted it on google.com so that we can all use the same and if you scroll down a little you will see there are two things which i use the first one is that it uses gmail service to read drafts and send emails and then it uses the sheet app service to read and write the data so the first step you need to do is you need to create a copy of the sample sheet and I will give a link for this sheet in the description box below. Also this website use only and only this link. Do not use any other link because if someone else modifies the script, he can always go ahead and make changes in the script where all your emails which you send from this particular utility will be cc to him maybe so use only the sheet which you will be able to get from this particular link once you have copied the sheet you need to follow a certain steps which i will show you just few seconds from now do watch this video till the end because i will first show you how it is to be done what are the problems that you may face when you start using it what is the easy solution and what is the correct fix for the same and if you like it please click like on this video do leave a comment so you need to use this link over here and once you click this i will show you it will take you to a new window and it will ask you to copy this sheet yes ensure that you're using only this link as i mentioned before and when you go and click on make a copy here your google sheets will open up along with a copy of this particular sheet which has the script built in and a sample data which says that you can send email to the first name last name recipient description discount code discount amount and email sent well what you need to take care here is that these two columns should never be touched you can move them around but you should not change the heading and you should not write anything in this except for the recipient column where you will not touch the header but you can have as many emails as you want to put beneath this so in this sheet if you'll see all the headers are in bold 
and this is basically the fields which will be used in the email for mail merge so as i mentioned before you should not change recipient or email sent you can change the others if the need be so now just as an example if i want to send an email to a temporary email id let's say so i'm going to 10 minutes mail let me copy this mail id and here i will put this email id let me remove this particular row now for the first time whenever i will go on mail merge and i will click send email it will first ask for authorization authorization is required because it needs to access your google sheets as well as your gmail so since this is a tool or a script which has been downloaded from google.com i'm sure it is safe otherwise google would never publish it so i will click on continue here here it will ask you to select your email id go down click on allow now you have given the permission now step number two is you need to go to your mailbox and in the mailbox you have to copy this recipient from here the google sheet in the to field you will select two open curly brackets paste the recipient and close the bracket in the subject whatever you want to use and in the body of the email you can add further information you can add further variable content which will correlate to that particular email address recipient only and move on so in this subject for now let me just write test email and here i want to write hello and now i want to use the first name of the person so i'll go back to my sheet i will copy the first name as is the reason i say you should copy and not type is very simple when you copy even if there is a mistake that maybe let's say you type first name and in name you forgot to type e in the google sheet so if you will copy that and paste it here the same mistake will be repeated and it will work and let's say here instead of the amount due i just want to say discount amount as of now just for this example so i will copy this i will go here in the curly brackets i will paste it again and that is it i'm good to go what i need to do is i need to copy the subject why i will come to it and you will see i will go to the sheet now in the mail merge because you have already given the authorization so now when you will click on send email it will run a script and it will say type or copy paste the subject line of the gmail draft message you would like to mail merge with in send email i will copy paste the exact subject and click ok now you will see it is saying running script script finished and if you will see this time has populated an email sent so this basically means that this email has been sent to this recipient with all the data which has been mentioned here in our case i should be able to see the first name and the discount amount so let's go and see what happened so i'll go to my 10 minute mail where i created a temporary email id and i see that i have received an email so the subject says test email which is perfectly fine this is how it should have been over here and here it says hello and i did not get the first name and i did not get the information so let me check what happened in fact i would say it is a very good thing that while giving this demo we came across a problem which you might have otherwise so let's go and troubleshoot the same i'm sure that a lot of people who started using this might be facing the same thing so let me first tell you the easier way and then i will tell you the right way of doing it so what you need to do is if you go to your email in the draft you just select the plain text mode so if it is in plain text mode all the placeholders will work fine so all the fields whether it's first name last name discount or whatever you have mentioned will work pretty good in case it is not in plain text mode then there is an extra step which you need to follow i will tell you that also in the time to come so for now let me just show you if we send it in plain text mode i go to my sheet and here the email sent column is empty i go to mail merge send email and i paste the same click on ok running the script and now it says finished script and time has come so these mails have been sent so now if i go in my sent i should be able to see that two emails have been sent so here it says info and administrator and this one says over here let me mark this for you in info it says hello raymond reddington well only raymond because i selected only the first name and when it sent the email to administrator it said hello lisa so two different mails have been sent with different set of information let me open the email and show you this as an example so here it says 
hello Raymond and the amount due for shipment is $23. Vis-a-vis -vis if I go to the other email which has been sent to Lisa, here it says hello Lisa and the amount is $32 and not $23. Let's go back to the Google Sheets and check the same if that is correct or not. Let me clear up the screen. So in case of Raymond, the amount was $23. In case of Lisa, the amount was $32. So both my emails went correctly with the information which was corresponding to the concerned person. And the best part is if I'm using tools like MailChimp or SendinBlue or any other, it's really good if I have to send thousands and millions of mails. But if it's a few mails that you need to send and you also want them to be in your sent, then this script or this feature will help you retain the same in your sent mail, just like I showed that all these mails are there in my sent. So now let me come to the part if you want to include something which is not a plain text. In my case, I had two different lines here, then I had some spacing and then further things. However, when I sent this email as plain text, everything came only in one line and it does not look good. So what is the alternate? Well, what you need to do is in Google Sheets where you have this particular sheet, copy of Gmail Sheets, Mail Merge, you will see that there is an option of tools. In tools, you will further see there is this option of script editor. So you need to click on the script editor and when you click the script editor, a new page will open up with the script which will show all the things that are happening. If you are already aware of coding, it will be very easy for you to understand all this. If not, there is no problem. Take no pain in this. It is very easy. Anything which is starting with two forward slash is a comment and that is for you to read and there is nothing else which needs to be done. So if you scroll down, you need to come to line number 90 and if you read in line number 88 and 89, which is again starting with two forward slashes, if you need to send emails with Unicode or emoji characters, change Gmail app for mail app. Uncomment advanced parameters as needed. So we don't need to go to line 89, just 88 is good for us. But what we need to change here is this particular part. And as it's mentioned above, instead of Gmail app, we will make it mail app. So I'm just removing the G and making M as capital. And that is it. Just to be sure that everything is fine, I just click the run here once. So once I click run, you will see at the bottom, it will show execution started and execution completed and we are good to go. Now, if I go back to my email and I go to these three dots over here at the bottom and remove the plain text mode and make some changes. Now I want my website to be a link and this particular statement at the bottom, I want it to be bold and anything else which I would have wanted. Earlier, as you saw, when I sent an email, it did not include the first name and the discount amount. Now, what I want to show is that it should work perfectly fine. So let me go to my Gmail. Let me remove the data from email sent so that I can send the same thing again. This window is open. I'll go to my sheets, mail merge, send email. And here I need to copy the subject. So I copy the subject and click OK. So here it's running script script finished and the time so if i go to my sent email this time i should be able to see that there are two more mails though let me go to my second email here again you will see now i have the better presentation as compared to the last mail if you will see instead of having everything in one line here all my data is how i wanted my website address is a link this line over here is bold so my formatting is working fine now there are certain restrictions on this let me go back to the same google page and if you scroll down here it will show you the current quotas for the documentation let me highlight this for you over here so once i click this i should be able to see the quotas for me right now so here in this particular page which is again on google.com you will see email recipients per day let me mark that for you so in case of consumer email which is at the gmail.com or gmail free edition which is the legacy account you have the limit of 100 emails per day but if you're using google workspace this is 1500 emails per day 
if you have to send to more than 1500 people a day in that scenario definitely you will need a better thing than this because this is something which is free of cost and this will provide you a lot of things but it is not a professional solution for millions of mails so for that you will have to use services like mailchimp or send in blue or any other thing like that so friends i'm sure that you would have liked what i just told and you'll be able to use it more so if it works out for you do leave a comment below if it does not definitely leave a query and one more thing uh, sometime back google changed the algorithms wherein it said that only the videos with more comments and more likes will be the ones which google would show to other people so if you liked my video please click a like please leave a comment below so that google shows my video to other people as well well friends thanks a lot for watching the video till now and i will be making more videos so if you have not subscribed to my channel click the red subscribe button below also click on the bell icon so that you receive the notification for all my future videos in case if you want to join my google groups just leave your email id either in the comment below or you can always send me an email at this particular email address which is on your screen and i will also leave it in the description box below this way is whenever i upload a new video i always send an email to my google group and you'll be the first ones to know and watch my video so thanks a lot for watching the video till now take care bye bye